Click chemistry is uh, almost, almost like it sounds. It's all about snapping molecules together. Imagine that you could attach small chemical buckles to different types of building blocks. Then you could link these buckles together and produce molecules of greater complexity and variation. Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we shall be discussing about this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So recently, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the year 2022 was awarded to Carolyn R. Bertozzi, Morten Meldel and K. Barry Sharpless for development of click chemistry and bio-orthogonal chemistry. Now, K. Barry Sharpless has become the only fifth individual to be awarded two Nobel Prizes since the award started in the year 1901. He follows the footsteps of double Nobel Prize laureates John Bardeen, Marie Curie, Linus Pauling and Frederick Sanger. Sharpless was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 2001 in chemistry for his works on surely catalyzed oxidation reactions. Now to decode and simplify their work, Sharpless came up with the term click chemistry and worked extensively on it. Meldel, independently of Sharpless, came up with a special chemical structure called triazole, which has many significant applications. And Bertozzi took the next step of developing click reactions that could work inside living organisms. Bio-orthogonal reactions, a term she coined, take place in living systems without interfering with the native biochemical processes. Now let us talk about click chemistry. Sharpless and Meldel have laid the foundation for a functional form of chemistry which is known as click chemistry. Now it refers to a group of chemical reactions that are fast, simple, versatile and give high product yields. It describes a way of linking together molecules like in nature which also generate substances by joining small modular units. Some of these reactions can be carried out inside living cells without disrupting the biochemical processes, making them bio-orthogonal. If we talk about the applications of click chemistry, this approach is used to tag biomolecules with fluorescent probes that illuminate the inner workings of cellular biochemistry. It also offers a way to produce antibody drug conjugates that have highly targeted therapeutic actions in the body. Now, click chemistry is even being directly applied inside patients in ongoing clinical trials of a powerful cancer therapy. Now, let us talk about triazole. A triazole is a heterocyclic compound featuring a five-membered ring of two carbon atoms and three nitrogen atoms with molecular formula C2H3N3. Now, triazoles exhibit substantial isomerism depending on the position of nitrogen atoms within the ring. Isomers are molecules with identical molecular formulae, that is, same number of atoms of each element, but distinct arrangements of atoms in space. Now, isomerism is existence or possibility of isomers. If we talk about the application of triazoles, many triazoles are versatile, biologically active compounds, commonly used as fungicides and plant retarders. However, they are also useful in bio-orthogonal chemistry because the large number of nitrogen atoms causes triazoles to react similar to azides. And if we talk about the bio-orthogonal chemistry, this term refers to any chemical reaction that can occur inside of living systems without interfering with native biochemical processes. The term was coined by Caroline R. Bertozzi in the year 2003. And since its introduction, the concept of bio-orthogonal reaction has enabled study of biomolecules such as glycans, proteins and lipids in real time in living systems without cellular toxicity. Let us talk about some of the steps in bio-orthogonal chemistry. The use of bio-orthogonal chemistry typically proceeds in two steps. First, a cellular substrate is modified with a bio-orthogonal functional group, that is a chemical reporter, and introduced to the cell. The chemical reporter must not alter the structure of the substance dramatically to avoid affecting its bioactivity. Secondly, a probe containing the complementary functional group is introduced to react and label the substrate. So this was a little bit about the topic. Now let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the statements regarding Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2022. First, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to Caroline R. Bartosi, Morten Meldel and K. Barry Sharpless for development of click chemistry and bio-orthogonal chemistry. Second, K. Barry Sharpless has become only the fifth individual to be awarded two Nobel Prizes since the award started in 1901. 
Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So, as we know, both of the statements are correct with respect to Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2022. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, that is both 1 and 2. And well, with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.